All right, Tan just says, how, could, how should I change as a person from flings to getting into a relationship? What to power think? Been single for six years, dated two guys I really liked, but got ghosted. Yeah, I mean, how long did you date these guys? It, it, it's actually pretty common in this day and age. So we live in the world of the hookup culture. I've talked about this a few different times where it's it, it's become pretty normal for people to ghost each other. And women actually ghost more than men do, statistically speaking. However, uh, it's just become normal. And it's something that you're going to have to deal with and there's not a whole lot that you can really do about other people ghosting you. There are women in our community that ghost guys and they talk about it. And it's just one of those things you got to uh, you, you gotta not take it. I, it's hard to not take it personally, for sure, you know. Um, and at the same time, you have to remember that those people aren't for you and that they're opening space for somebody else to come into your life that's better for you and uh, your needs and, and what it is that you want. And so, yeah, it sucks when you date somebody and they ghost you. So how should I change as a person from flings to getting into a relationship? Well, you definitely don't want to get into flings ever. I never, ever suggest that anybody get into a fling ever uh, mostly because we have a huge number of women in our community who have gotten into kind of fling situations where that's all they wanted and eventually it turned into them wanting something more but now they're with a guy who they made an agreement with that they just do a fling thing or they never had a conversation about anything more and so now they're in a bad situation. And so my suggestion is that you don't get into a situation like that. 